Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of months ago, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out a new Copilot app for Windows, for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, which they called a native app. But at the end of the day, as I did post, it really at the end of the day is just a PWA, a progressive web app based on the Microsoft Copilot website. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft is changing Copilot once again. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft has announced quite a major update for Copilot for Windows Insiders, which began rolling out yesterday on the 3rd of March. And as far as I can remember, this will be the fourth change that Microsoft is making to Copilot since Copilot was introduced in Windows. Now, just a quick recap. When Copilot first rolled out for Windows, it opened up from the right side of the screen and the Copilot icon was found here next to the search. And then after that, Microsoft popped the icon right here to the right of the system tray and even removed the show desktop and turned that off by default so you didn't click on that um, by mistake. And then we got the so-called native app, which at the end of the day was the web app, as I mentioned. And now, and now Microsoft has announced that the new update for Copilot on Windows will be a native XAML app with a brand new user interface. So the fourth undertaking now that Copilot is receiving from Microsoft. Now, as we can see, I think the big one here is there will be a new site panel where you can start a new conversation and see your conversation history, which currently is not the case in the so-called Copilot app for Windows in the stable version. And you'll be able to ask questions about your PC, like how do I set up a Bluetooth headset on this device? And Copilot provides information tailored, they say, to your current version of Windows. So it'll be able to detect what version of Windows you are running, either on Windows 10, Windows 11, and then give you the specific information due to your request. And Microsoft does say that as a reminder, you can get quick access to the Copilot app by using Alt and Space, which I've disabled in the stable version. Yeah, that's the hotkey you can use across all PCs. And if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, obviously you will have the Copilot key. And this Copilot app update is version 1.25023.101.0 and higher and is beginning to roll out across all insider channels via the Microsoft Store. And that's rolling out to insiders gradually. So just take note of that if you do find yourself in the insider program. So it's going to be interesting to see eventually where Copilot does end up because this is the fourth kind of rendition we have now of Copilot um, that I can remember. And it just seems that Microsoft cannot make up their mind regarding what they want Copilot to be or to look like. But the good news is, is that if you are one who prefers using a desktop app, which I did run a poll on recently, and most of you said you like using desktop software over web apps, then it will be replacing now finally the kind of web app version of Copilot and will be a dedicated desktop app according to Microsoft. And if and when this rolls out to the stable version, obviously I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.